What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. And today I wanna just show you guys how to set a static IP address on Rocky Linux. Now, Rocky Linux has been around for a little while and it's looked at as one of the replacements for CentOS since they made those changes to the way CentOS is going to be released. So I wanted to do a quick video just showing you guys how to do a few changes to your Rocky Linux server. If you're switching over from CentOS as a server, uh, you may have forgotten how to set up static IP addresses and all that stuff or just some basic networking. Cause you know, CentOS, it's almost like one of those servers you can set up and forget about it and then check it every now and then because you can have it, you know, auto update and all that stuff. And it'll get all the security patches. So it's kind of like a set it, forget it, you know, at the end of the day, unless you're making a whole bunch of changes to the server or some type of application on there that you really have to monitor a lot. But most of the time, once you get your static IP address, you know, you kind of forget about it. And if you're migrating over to, let's say, Rocky Linux, I want to at least give you guys a tutorial on how to set that static IP address up again if you need to. So let's switch over to the terminal and walk through the process right fast. OK, cool. So I'm logged into my server and the first thing you want to do is just update your system. Uh, as you can see right now, uh, I don't have a host name for it. I just kind of use the default when I went through the install of Rocky Linux. But I'll just run Uname right fast so you guys can see what's on the system first. Um, as you can see, it has a kernel 4.18. Uh, so let's go down and clear that. But what you want to do is update the system, like I said. So sudo yum updates. And I'm 100% sure this system is up to date because uh, I just updated it before this video. Uh, so it has all its updates. It's good to go. And that's something that you want to do every time you make changes to a server, in my opinion. Now, let's go down and uh, type IP space A. So the IP command is on here. And if you guys are not familiar with the IP command, I did do a tutorial a while back that showing you how to use the IP command as well as all the options. But just running IP A will give you all the network information. As you can see at the top is the loopback, and then this is the main device uh, network core. So, and this is the name. That's basically what we're looking for, the ENS18, as you can see. And you can check out the IP address as well, but this is the automatic IP address that's assigned by the router. Uh, so that's what that IP address is. And basically what we're trying to do is set that to something specific. So if we wanted to, you know, have a, a different IP address for this server and we can set up port forwarding or something to point to that IP address, you don't have to worry about this IP address changing or something like that. Or if you want to host a website, you want to make sure this IP address doesn't change. Then you want to set it as a static IP address. So let me go down and show you guys how to do that. It's very simple on Rocky Linux. Uh, it's only like, it's like one command and it opens up a wizard and you, you can go through and make all those changes on the server. So let's type sudo. Then that's only because we are in our regular account. Now, if we were logged in as root, we wouldn't have to type sudo, of course, but sudo. And then the command is nmtui. And that's the command. So NMTUI, you press enter and it will open up, like I said, a wizard. And let me turn on my little hand so I can uh, move the uh, screen, you know, up for you guys. But as you can see, what it says is edit a connection, uh, activate a connection, set the system host name. And it's super cool that the host name settings are here. So you can make changes to the host name here as well. But what we want to do is edit a connection. So if we press enter, that'll open up uh, a long menu and I'm gonna drag it up uh, so you guys can see. But at the bottom, it just says uh, back, you know, so we're good to go. Now, what you want to do is select that ethernet uh, name. Uh, you can add, obviously it has some other stuff, edits and deletes. Uh, but what we want to do is just select that interface name. And this is where you can go through and make the changes to the settings. Uh, 
and like i said it's a very simple wizard that a walk that walks you through it you just got to kind of know what you're doing but uh you could change the profile name uh you could change the device name which ties or shows the mac address and then you can uh look at the ethernet information uh by cloning you know the mac address you know mtu uh but we got we're not gonna mess with that really what we're interested in is the ip version 4 uh and then we could click on that or press enter on that and all i'm doing is using my keyboard to manipulate this uh, i'm only using my mouse to move the screen up and down so you guys can see exactly what i'm looking at on the screen but uh if we press enter there we could change the ip version 4 configuration and what we want to do is change it to manual uh that's pretty much for how you set that standard IP address or static IP address. Now, if we click go over to the right and all I did was hit the right arrow and hit show, this is where you actually set up your addresses. So if we go down uh, to the first one where it says address, we could press enter and this will open it up where we can add our static IP addresses. And you can add more than one, as you can see. I mean, it says uh, add right below it but you can modify that as well. But let's uh, just type in that one IP address there. So 192.168.10.75, that's a good IP address. And one thing about it, you wanna go down and specify the network as well, or the subnet mask, but it's in that numeric format. Format. Uh, it's a 24 network, so that's what we wanna use. Uh, we can go down to, like I said, add, if you want to add another IP address, static IP address to this server, uh, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna add the gateway. And so you should know the gateway of your network. Uh, the local, my gateway is 192.168.10.1. Uh, most likely that's what it is for yours. Uh, just change it to where, like if you have a, a 1.1 network or uh, I know some people have a 0 0.1, but mine is 10.1. So we get to go there and then you can go through and also add, make changes to this by setting the a specific DNS server if you want to. Uh, you can set, you can add more as you go through and then search domains as well. Uh, and then they have some routing information. We're not going to change or make any custom routes. So I'm not going to make any changes there, but they also have some options. It says never use this network for default route, uh, ignore automatically obtaining routes, uh, ignore automatically obtaining DNS parameters. So it's just some things you could check on and check off if you need it. Uh, right here, it says require IP addressing for this connection. You don't have to select that either. Uh, so we pretty much done with setting the IP address. Now uh, we got We got to get at this port of the kind of wizard, so to speak. Uh, we don't want to make any changes to it, but I, to anything else, I just want to at least read it out to you so you guys can see. But it says automatically uh, connect or uh, available to all users. So that's basically we we can leave that defaults, which is you know good to go but you can also make changes to your ip version 6 uh, a lot of times i disable that you can go in and actually ignore it or disable it uh i recommend you know disable it so i'm gonna just leave it on automatic for right now just for this demonstration because i didn't want to you know kind of go into ip version 6 it's a little bit more complicated but let's uh press ok here but we're not done at this point uh, we made changes to the interface, you know, and then now we just have to go down to the bottom and I'll scroll down. But basically, we have to go back. So we go back to that main menu and now we have to activate the connection, which is very simple to do. You just go in here, press activate and then let's move the screen back up so you guys can see. But currently is the act i mean currently it is activated it's still using that automatic ip address that it has so if you was to go ping this server it will still have that original ip address that it got so what we need to do is deactivate it and basically all we're doing is restarting networking on the server uh you basically deactivate it okay so we're good to go now let's activate it boom and now we should have the good the new ip address and let's scroll back down to the bottom so you guys can see but i'm just going hitting the back button 
and then now we're done we can actually go in change the host name if we want to but i'm not gonna change the host name uh so we're good to go i'm gonna just press okay yeah and we're good to go so as you can see it kind of goes back to the terminal i'm gonna clean it i'm gonna clear the screen scroll back up so you guys can see where i'm at on the in the terminal and now we can run ip a again press enter and as you can see we have that static ip address and we're good to go so that's all you need to do to set a static ip address in rocky linux so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions make sure you leave comments down below that way i can try to help you as best i can and of course keep it techy